All right, everyone, my untested as of yet hope today is that I can do longer videos. My webcam you know, may still be having problems. Sometimes it does that for a few days, and there's really nothing to be done other than to wait. Uh, we got to talk about Epic.com, Gab, BitChute, and the SPLC. The SPLC uh, uh, having a hit piece uh, posted there the other day about Epic.com and how they're uh, how they're hosting Gab and BitChute. Now, if you read the description given of Gab and BitChute, it seems like the author has a, like, a bone to pick with someone. Like, did you get banned off these sites or something and you just have a personal vendetta? It's like, oh, uh, you know, low-rent uh, YouTube ripoff BitChute. BitChute is not a YouTube ripoff. The structure of the site is almost entirely different. That's like saying what, the, any video hosting site's automatically a YouTube ripoff. Stylistically, there's very little overlap, and I seem to remember, well, YouTube wasn't the first public video hosting site anyway, wasn't it? Metacafe? Didn't they come around a couple of years before YouTube existed? And YouTube initially was just a little site anyway, too. It was the same thing, and it had the same kind of edgy content that drew people to the site, which is exactly why they're worried. Uh, Gab. The idea that Gab is a Twitter ripoff. No, some of the things they did were innovative, like the, like the ability... Uh, Gab TV, uh, which which I don't think is still 100% functional, and also the character limit being considerably higher uh, for uh, I think a couple of years before Twitter adopted the same thing. It's not really a ripoff. Again, the structure of the site is not the same. Uh, here's what we see though. What they're trying to do is go after Epic.com because they're hosting Gab and their you know BitChute I think is currently moving to them. And the idea is that they want to to you know disenfranchise and destroy the registrar because they've been unable to destroy Gab or BitChute. They've tried. They've deplatformed them fiscally. Um, you know they have to use like fucking crypto coins and shit. Uh, they're trying to now get rid of them by targeting the registrar. And we've seen this over and over again. Now let me let me point something out because the SPLC's audience by and large probably doesn't use Gab. Probably doesn't know anything about BitChute. I am the largest user of BitChute. And if you look at a list, a laundry list of the biggest names on the site, none of them are ethno-nationalistic. The closest you can get is Stefan Molnew, who has now some, some nationalistic beliefs, I suppose, that he adopted after his trip to Poland. But otherwise, uh, you've got me. Uh, I'm number one. Yeah, Lord, lordy behold, I'm a libertarian. I don't really give a fuck about those issues. I'm a libertarian who believes in border control. Not exactly that out there. Uh, so call me a 90s uh, conservative, I suppose you could say. Uh, kind of. Uh, other than I don't, I don't care if you're gay. Uh, and then you've got Infowars, which isn't a person and certainly is not ethno-nationalistic. The big attack line on them is conspiracy theorists. Paul Joseph Watson's on there. Again, he has some civic nationalist views, but by and large, still just a libertarian who they call a conspiracy theorist. Bering's not an ethno-nationalist. Razor Fist's not an ethno-nationalist. So I suppose the closest you can come is like Lauren Southern, and she only sporadically posts anything anywhere now. She's basically disappeared as far as the, the standalone content creator side. Let's look at Gab. Gab's early community actually was more overtly like religious individuals, like tradcons, not nationalists. That comes later. Gab absorbed how many, how many tens of thousands of Brazilian accounts signed up in the wake of, of the, the Brazilian government, I believe, cracking down on Twitter. And then, and then there were a bunch of people from, I think, Morocco, if I remember correctly, or Kenya, or one of these nations, actually. They, they blocked Twitter outright, and so, you know, 10,000 more people showed up. And people from all around the world use these sites. Most of them are not ethno-nationalistic. And let me ask a fundamental question. The SBLC's answer is clear. Why should I care if people without their beliefs, so-called, use these sites anyway? Look, you've chased them off the mainline internet. And the initial, the initial thing two years ago when all this tech censorship bullshit started as well, we want to build your own website, build your own version of Twitter, build your own YouTube or whatever. Get off our sites. We don't want to interact with you. We want an echo chamber. We don't want to debate people that we disagree with. We just want you out of sight, out of mind. So they go and they do that, and then, they, and then the, these sites get targeted as well. And I see my webcam is doing fucky things, so... Now, keeping that in mind. Uh, so yeah, I, I defend Epic.com. The SPLC, by and large, has devolved from a group that initially had a good purpose, which is like, hey, we're going to go after these like clan members that keep lynching people, sort of decades ago. Now, because there's not so much of the actual physical side of, of race violence and stuff like that, they've devolved into worrying about what people post on the internet. Now it's, we must stop mean tweets. We must clean up, you know, multi-billion corporate dollar corporations. And you know how we're going to do that? We're going to empower them to financially deplatform people for their political views. 
I think that's a slippery slope we do not want to go down. I think that it causes a lot more problems that it could ever possibly solve. Some of these people disagree. Oh, well, there's nothing really to be done or said about that. But no, um, Gab is not dedicated ethno-nationalist site. It's a free speech hosting service. The fact is that a lot of people who have been deprived of free speech have views politically that are off of the center of the spectrum. Woo, that's so spooky. You know, most of those people are, again, they have nothing to do with any of those, those spooky Nazis, skinheads and stuff. No, they're a bunch of libertarians and shit. There are a lot of libertarians like myself on these sites because we appreciate free speech and support it. Yes, I support Gab, unequivocally. Yes, I support BitChute, unequivocally. I am glad Epic.com exists. I'm glad that there are some people standing up against the bullies. That's about all. Peace out.